I see out here in this old parking lot. Check this shit out. Put up in there, yeah. Wow, this is cool as hell. Yeah, that's neat. Look at the way that shit just fucking rolls over top of the cab and kind of flows down. It's heavy duty, all right. It doesn't have, it's got a lot of surface rust on it. I don't see any fucking rust holes. Check this out. County of Fairfax, Virginia. That's the International R190 series. It's not mine, so I don't really want to fuck with it too much. But... Wow. That's what it looks like in the front. Oh, there you go. The engine. I was talking to a guy a little while ago. He said that the man that bought this bought it for eight hundred bucks. You know, look at all this. That's some quality shit right there. Looks like those two leaked. American Fire Apparatus Company. You can imagine it would take a lot of effort to restore something like this, but it'd be really neat. After it's all done and everything, look at that. Damn, that's so big you can get up in there. falling down. It's just heavy duty, man. Check this shit out. What a cool piece of fucking history. What did I say? Anyway, and check out that fucking spotlight so you can turn from the inside up on the front there. Up over the post by the windshield on the right and left sides. So anyway, if you like this video, subscribe to Get Good TV. And um, hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell. And every time I see some neat shit like this, I'll go ahead on and make a video of it. It looks like somebody's starting to tape the bumper and spray it or do something with it. Wow. If it was sitting in my yard, I'd be doing something with it, I can tell you. But it looks like it's all original and it's been sitting outside for a while. Again, it's an old international fire truck. So subscribe to Get Go TV. Leave a comment in the comment section and uh, hit the notification bell for when we upload another video. And, uh, 
If you got any questions about this or any of our other videos, make sure that you uh, leave a question in the comment section or uh, email me at peninsulaimp at gmail.com. And that link is also in the channel description. That is neat. Anyway, you get one view of it from way out here like this.